Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 3rd, 2019. Hey guys, remember the market closes early today, 1 p.m. Eastern time, uh, the, the market will close down. And we have a busy day on our economic calendar today. So we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, kind of an interesting day yesterday as we had a little bit of a joust going on with the bears, but the bears really uh, appeared to have no teeth at all. We have this, this pop and drop pattern up here, but what's important about that is a pop and drop pattern really needs, if we're going to get bearish, really needs a follow through to the downside. Kind of like this one right here. We had that pop and drop and then we get that follow through to the downside. Well, obviously that did not occur yesterday. Uh, that pop and drop happened. Um, the bulls, we had a little bit of a jousting contest with the bears um, early in the morning. But then late, later in the afternoon, those bulls came back in pushing back uh, pretty hard to the upside. The Dow still has resistance levels above to consider. You know, we're, we're parked right here on this resistance at the close, but as you can see, we're gapping up this morning. Just, we're gapping up this morning um, near this high of that pop and drop pattern. So we're getting that little bit of a push up this morning. Um, uh, with some bullish activity. Now that will take just a little bit of effort, a little bit of effort where we might be able to push through and actually set that new record high today on the Dow. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Now we do have a busy economic calendar today that could have something to say about that. And the fact that we're bullish um, right now as I record this may not be um, uh, you know, the, the total story for, for the morning. So let's um, we'll talk about that as we look at that economic calendar. But right now, that's what I see potentially in the market. And if we take a look at um, uh, the Dow index itself, you can see it, it really wouldn't take that big of a push to maybe pop up here and clip that all-time high um, in the market. We just need to go a little bit higher here on that move and if we get some good economic numbers perhaps um, that's possible to do so let's kind of keep an eye on that on the dow index and that possibility of that that move on higher here today let's take a look at the spy now the spy did an impressive job yesterday where we had uh, you know just some I, i'm not sure if i've got a bad tick in this chart i don't think we really pushed down that far yesterday in the um in the spy but we did get um, some selling early on in the morning, pushing things lower. And if we take a, a look at a just a quick 15-minute chart, you can see we had sell-off yesterday's rally and more selling. And then we really started to push higher here in the afternoon, um, really picking up. And this morning, as you can see, those bulls are um, trying to push again this morning, new record high prints. And right now, um, it's looking as if the S&P 500 will set another new record um, this morning at the open, assuming that economic numbers don't change that. So we have blue sky above here on the on the SPY. The, uh, the bulls are definitely in control. Trends are strong. Um, there's no reason to see bullishness in this chart, at least at the moment. And if we were to get some sellers coming in, if we do sell off a little bit, we would watch these areas right in here as price support um, initially in the chart, um, holding well above our 50-day moving averages um, here in the chart. Everything is looking pretty darn good um, overall in this market. So let's take a look at um, the queues. Now the queues um, still have this little bit of a concern, but yesterday no follow through to that pop and drop type pattern that we had here no follow through to the downside so the bulls are holding this up quite well we still have that issue that little bit of a problem of a lower high here and you can see this morning we're trying to pop through that with uh, the bulls pushing to the upside and we may actually attack that all-time high here 
in the queues if we can get some good economic numbers there's almost nothing in the in the earnings calendar today to worry about so that won't be the inspiration and i gotta be honest i'm not 100 percent sure why we're showing so much inspiration heading into the holiday and still an uncertain future for trade negotiations with china um still um still have Iran over there um, causing problems and tensions growing over there in Iran. Um, you know, we have a warnings, um, a, a great big number of companies warning to uh, that we should be worried about the coming um, earnings uh, quarter. But no one seems to care. The bulls just want to push higher. They're, they are just absolutely relentless right now. It, it's like nothing matters. We're going to go higher. And that's what's, that's what's happening here in the chart. And this happens from time to time in the market. You don't have to understand it. It doesn't have to make sense. Just follow the chart. And as you can see, we're pushing up here and we could easily break that new record high in the queues, even though just a slew of, of technology companies have been warning that they will miss analyst estimates um, in the next uh, round of earnings. So pretty interesting to see this kind of relentless bullishness and, and that what I believe is a little bit of a complacency starting to build into the market. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM did follow through yesterday to the downside. We did get that push down. So we did get uh, more of a confirmation of this downtrend in IWM. And that happened to be a test, if we go right here, kind of a test down here at the 50-day moving average. Now, this morning, as you can see, the bulls are pushing to the upside. So we are trying to lift this back up off of that 50-day moving average. If we can hold here, that could certainly continue to cement this possible trend to the upside. And maybe we can break through this downtrend in IWM. So let's watch that closely. But right now I would put a resistance level here in IWM right in this area, pretty substantial resistance level. And I would put a support right down in this area here around that 50 day moving average where we could have, um, if we fail through there, we could st start seeing some problems in IWM. Let's take a look at the VIX real quick. The VIX showing just no, zero, uh, fear in the market. We are um, relentlessly pushing to the upside and there's just no fear here in the market. We certainly have a downtrend in place. We've fallen well below this price um, resistance level here in the chart. And as you can see, we're coming down here. Um, you know, it's VIX with the, with the issues that we're addressing right now. It just seems odd to me that we're seeing a 12, possibly even 11 handle coming here in the VIX um, with no fear right now of any of the issues out there. So pretty interesting situation. Just watch that closely. Um, if that begins to reverse and come back up, we, uh, well, who knows? Who knows? Maybe the, maybe everything is just copacetic. Um, and everything's great, and I'm on the wrong side of this. So just keep an eye on these charts and watch this very, very closely. Let's take a look at T2122. That's that four-week new high, new low ratio. And if you, we look at T2122, it's showing us that we have been a little bit stretched up here um, in, in, um, in this rally just a little bit stretched. And even though we had a little bit of a pullback in this yesterday, um, this morning gap up, if that holds through the morning, is likely to push us right back up here in this area. And we've seen that before where we bounce around up here um, in that upper area. And right now those re uh, bulls are just so relentless. They're just pushing, pushing, pushing um, to that upside. So watch this up here pretty closely. Um, when we reach that bearish, um, reversal area. We just want to be watchful of that uh, potential 
of that reversal sell-off. Unfortunately, what's been happening lately is all of the big moves are occurring overnight. We're not getting an opportunity as retail traders to really participate in them unless we're in early and kind of doing a little bit of gambling. Hopefully that will eventually settle down and we can get back to some better trading. But right now the big moves are occurring overnight and um, retail traders are just, well, we haven't been able to participate much. Um, in some of those moves. So watch that close. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today. We do have a busy economic calendar today. So first off this morning, we had mortgage applications and they have stalled. The mortgage ap applications show a stall in, um, in uh, those reports. So um, that's, that's already happened this morning. But the big Big reports are still yet to come. Here at 8.15 this morning, Eastern Time, we have uh, the ADP report. Obviously, that does have some potential to move the market around, depending on how those numbers come in, and particularly if they're a surprise. We have um, international trade. Um, obviously, that is a pretty substantial number that can move the market around. And then, of course, jobless claims. Um, can certainly do that. But, you know, they've been holding up pretty well. I, I kind of doubt ahead of the holiday we're going to see a whole lot of turmoil here in that. Just to, just be aware that there is a significant amount of news uh, first thing this morning before the market opens that could change how the market appears before we, uh, before we get there. So um, we also have factory orders, ISM non-manufacturing, and the EIA, EIA Petroleum Status Report as well as a natural gas. So we have a few more things on the calendar today, a rather busy day. And then remember, we closed the market early um, today, so uh, in observance of the 4th of July. Now remember guys, uh, 4th of July tomorrow, there will not be a morning market prep video. I think that would be probably rather obvious, but I wanted to state that, that there will be no mar morning market prep video, but I will be back on Friday morning. Alrighty. Let's take a look at um, earnings calendar today. On the earnings calendar, we only have, oh, they've added another one. We've got three companies reporting earnings, but I don't see any anything in here that would be market moving um, for today. So pretty low key, I guess, um, on the earnings calendar today, not much happening. Currently, as I'm speaking right now, Dow futures are showing up 50 points. I've slipped about uh, 10 or 15 points uh, since I've been talking. Uh, just a little bit of a, a slip back, but still holding up strong this morning um, at the moment. So um, futures kind of hanging in there pretty good and uh, showing that we have bulls in control uh, this morning. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. And if you're taking off today early, heading out for your holiday plans, I want to wish you a very safe holiday and just a, a great time, you know, as we celebrate uh, the freedom that we um, are able to enjoy in this country. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm a very patriotic person. Per, uh, and um, Days like this, I, I tend to remember um, all the sacrifices that um, have been made so that we have um, freedoms, the freedoms that we have, the ability to do the things that we do, the, the uh, truly um, amazing country that we live in. And um, I hope um, everyone recognizes the importance of, um, of a holiday like this and takes a moment to just thank those folks um, around you that, uh, you know, those military folks and, and, and think about those folks that are helping uh, standing, really standing in harm's way during the holidays when we're out celebrating, having a good time. All of those folks that are making sure that we remain safe. So thank you to all of our military folks. Thank you to all of those that have served. Um, and um, I want to wish you all a fantastic 4th of July. Everyone take care and have a great day off tomorrow. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at um, um, 
Well, before I do that, let me just ask one more favor of you. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube and make sure you click that bell icon when, when that pop-up comes up so that you'll be notified when um, I uh, post one of these videos. And um, also, please, if you feel like the video is worthy, um, if you find these videos helpful, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and uh, leave a brief comment. You don't have to leave any kind of fancy, uh, you know, long-winded comment, just a real brief comment. Those help those algorithms show these videos to more folks. And I truly appreciate those folks who do take the time to do that. You know, um, the growth of this channel is really, um, it has nothing to do with me. It's all about you folks um, that um, write those nice little comments and, and click those thumbs up buttons. So thank you to everyone who does that. Um, honestly, you mean the world to me and I truly, truly appreciate that. So let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up. And remember, any charts that I bring up in this video, um, I, I, I bring them up um, with uh, the idea that they're not a recommendation to buy or sell anything, just charts that are of interest, things that we should be paying attention to and um, charts that um, could eventually set up for a possible trade. So um, watch these closely and pay attention. One of those would be McDonald's. And you guys know I can, have been talking about McDonald's for a while as this consolidated across here. The, and you can see this pink line in my chart. Every time you see one of these pink lines, you're going to know that that was a price alert or a price alert that has been set waiting for a trade to trigger. And you can see that trade would have triggered right here. And although that we had that push up and a little bit of a push back to test that as support, McDonald's went right on up yesterday, uh, pushing up nicely. So a beautiful, beautiful move in the chart, beautiful trade. And as you can see, McDonald's is looking to gap up a little bit this morning, continuing that move to the upside. So just simply, simply following a really clean pattern like this can be very rewarding. And um, I highly recommend everyone start taking a look at this pattern. I call it the pop out of the box pattern because if I draw a little box around this, it's a, it's a nice, tight, concise price action box. There's no buyers above, no sellers below. And because we are currently in a trend, I favor the upside move. So I'm watching for that uh, pop out. And um, these are great patterns that just produce over and over and over in charts. So watch for that one. Um, really good um, move to the upside. Another one that I have mentioned was TLRY and TLRY made that pop um, up yesterday, um, the day before yesterday, and now is pulling back here today. And that's not terribly uncommon that we see, you know, that retest of support, but we don't want to see this break down. If you are in TLRY, remember, um, right now, the stop loss should be below this area or somewhere in that vicinity. And we don't want to see this break this back down. So if this follows through back to the downside, that would be a problem. However, if it doesn't follow through to the downside, um, we could have the same situation that we have in McDonald's where we get that one day pullback and then we reverse back up to the upside and continue to move on. So watch TLRY. There's still an opportunity maybe setting up here, but it's a little bit of a question mark right now in the chart. Let's take a look at a, uh, another pattern that I like to trade a lot. It's called a round of bottom breakout. Round of bottom breakout patterns are really easy to, to find and identify. And it's that stock that has been really beaten down um, over a longer period of time. It will always have the 200 day moving average above everything else. So we get that stock that gets in this very, very oversold condition. And then I want you to notice that everything is starting to move itself back up. Um, we get all of our shorter term averages crossing up through that 50 day moving average. We break through the 50 day moving average on price. And that's when we start to watch and wait for that next entry into the trade. And if you take a look at this chart, I'm going to go back over here, take a look at this chart and you can see if um, I were to pull this line down here, um, here's a little level of price support in here. 
we have a level of price resistance that we have to worry about right here but then we can break into this gap to the upside and really see some upside moves here in this chart so keep that in mind a wba could be setting up a beautiful little round of bottom breakout pattern and if you have never traded that i got to tell you i find this to be one of the most productive and con um and patterns that I trade um, as far as winning uh, positions. So watch that close. Take a look at X-Ray. X-Ray, been holding up in this really nice trend, just beautifully moving up here in this trend. This has been doing this kind of sideways dance up here, consolidating after breaking my alert. And I'm watching this right in here along the trend, waiting for that next move to see if this can pop on higher. So keep an eye on X-Ray. It's looking pretty good here holding on uh, pretty darn well and worth keeping an eye on. A smaller chart to kind of keep an eye on, um, if you like these little guys, would be Avon. Um, Avon, been kind of doing that sideways dance here over to the trend and we're really right at that point where we could see um, uh, the stock make a decision um, here in the next uh, few days, whether we're going to actually respect this trend and pop on through or if we're going to uh, break down that trend. So keep an eye on AVP if you like a chart like that, um, looking like there is opportunity um, in that trade. TTWO, TTWO is one of those charts that um, alerted back in here, had that little bit of a pullback and you can see that's followed through nicely to the upside. And we did get a little bit of an indecisive day yesterday suggesting maybe a little more rest or a little pullback maybe coming in the stock. But right now TTWO continues to look very good and after breaking through this uh, significant level of resistance and now pushing on higher. I still think there's upside potential here in TTWO and something you should uh, wanna pay attention to. So with that everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a great day. I wanna wish you great profits. Once again, have an awesome 4th of July holiday. I wish you all the best. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Take care everyone, have a great one, and we'll see you then.